Today, we're going to be checking out the brand new details and animations for the Dual Doken Fest Super Saiyan 3 Goku, as well as Harutagon. They are dropping it over on the, their Twitter. So let's get into the details and animations. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So here we go. We have the Harutagon, which is an extreme int type unit, as well as the Goku. This is their TUR art here, which are looking very fire. Goku's STR. And he looks like to be a movie hero leader. And Harutagon is going to be a movie boss's leader. It's going to take a few minutes for the translations to fully come through. So while we wait, let's check out their animations. Three, two, one, let's go. All right. I didn't even know who's first. This has got to be Harutagon. Let's lower it a little bit. Intro animation. Oh my, it looks pretty good actually. So we have the 12 key here. I don't even know if they have an active skill or anything like that. God damn. That's kind of sick. I would, did not know what they were going to do with the Haruda gun. Uh, transformation. Because we did see from the art, you transform into his like bug form, I guess. I don't know what we call it. OST's kind of... Godly, actually. And the final bit. Flamethrower. Not bad, not bad. And now for the Goku animation here. Wow, we can already... It's already gonna look pretty nice, actually. Looks like they're going for that classic movie vibe here. Alright, they're reusing an OST. What the f Frick, that's kind of cool. Looks like there's no animations though, or intro animation. Got a counter, nullification counter. It's just so weird that there's no voice here. So it's just a nullification right there. And then we got the active skill. Huh? I'm actually very curious what's happening here. So this... I, I don't know what's happening anymore. I don't even... It's Sometimes you got to read the abilities first. Is it a standby? Is it like... what? Well, I don't even know. Okay, let me watch that again because... <laughs> I want to see the Dragon Fist again. That's pretty cool. I kind of wish the, you could see Goku here as well. But that's that's pretty cool sh ending shot. Like, imagine it ended off like that. I hope there is a secret KO screen just with, like, Goku at the end right there. Please. That we haven't seen. Alright, so let's jump into their details here. Starting off with Harutagon. He's a movie bosses or resurrected warriors category for 3 key and 170% stat boost. With an additional HP attack and defense for 30% for those who belong in the transformation boost or legendary existence category. I don't know how many people are going to be in that 200%. Should be a decent amount, but I don't know if they're like the top tier units. His 12 key is raise defense infinitely. Immense damage to the enemy. You got the intro animation, you got the five turns for three key and 100% attack and defense and high chance of performing a critical hit. You also get 200% attack and defense uh, at the start of the turn. Attack plus 100% when attacking. No defense, unfortunately, but he raises defense. It should be fine. Great chance to evade enemies' attacks. We're cool here. It's truly a Harutagon unit if he, if he can dodge. If an enemy's attack is evaded for the turn, launch an additional attack with a great chance for it to become a super attack. Okay, so you're trying to put him in that first slot unit there. An additional defense plus 10% per up to 50% per enemy's attack evaded. That is good as well. Uh, you got the Brutal Beatdown, Berserker, Big Bad Bosses, Revival, Nightmare, Fear and Fave, and Fierce Battle as the Link set. So that is all good. Um, and he's got Planetary Destruction as well. Story figures, Time Travelers, Transformation Boost. Legendary Existence, of course, and his actual leader skill. Uh, he has the Transformation Active skill from the turn 3 at the start of the battle. And HP 70% or lower. 
or from turn six from the start of the battle. Okay, that's cool. Um, depending on how much defense you can raise within those turns. And then when you get into his completed form, it's 250% attack and defense, 200% when attacking. So just a better start of turn and attacking multiplier. Launch an additional attack. There's a great chance for it to become a super attack. Great chance to evade attacks. If the enemy's attack is evaded for the turn, launch an additional attack. There's a high chance for it to become a super attack. Critical chance and evasion chance by 10% per attack evaded in the turn. Okay, so he becomes an even better dodging beast the more he dodges. I like that a lot. After every third attack evaded, evade the enemy's attack in the next attacking turn. That is pretty good. That is really good. He's dodging a lot. Actually kind of crazy. And like, if I, I don't even think that Ray's defense infinitely will matter at this point. Maybe just get him enough to tank normal attacks. But as long as you get at least some RNG luck, I think he actually is going to be really good. And his attack is going to be extremely high. Because he's greatly raising attack as well for the 12 key. So I'm looking... So it looks like it's actually going to be a really good character. Um, maybe this is the shift for the extreme units finally. We'll see. Maybe he's a, he's a must. One thing is he's not in terrifying conquerors. So that does hurt him quite a bit in terms of like usage, I would say. This is what his 200% leader skill is providing. As you can see, it's not really anything high tier, unfortunately, other than like maybe Golden Freezer in some circumstances. Cool life with the great RNG. But the TUs are not ideal, I would say for the most part of, for probably 2024 content. Now let's look at the STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku. His leader skills 3 key and 170% for movie heroes and final trump card. I do like that. With an additional 30% for Super Saiyan 3 or Kamameha category. It's actually not too bad of a leader skill. I think the Kamameha extra bit should cover a lot of movie heroes and final trump card units. Uh, then the SA effect is greatly raise attack and raises defense for the one turn. Causes immense damage to the enemy. Passive skill, key plus three. Attack plus attack and defense plus 200%. Medium chance to perform a critical here. High chance of evading enemies attack. Okay, you've got some extra additions on the hidden potential right there. With an additional 150% attack and defense when performing a super attack. With an additional attack defense 159%. And chance of performing a critical here and evading plus 20% when placed in the second or third slot. That is very much a must he's getting a 70 percent dodge chance at that rate which is amazing and the critical hits at a 50 percent chance so you know that's max additional right there max additional rest dodge uh you've already done your build right there attack plus 159 percent critical hit chance by 50 percent and great chance of nullifying melee type super attacks aimed at the character when hp is 59 percent i don't like that 59 percent hp thing especially when you've already you know, limited to melee type supers. You definitely want that 159% attack though um, to make him really shine as like a damaging unit, especially with the inbuilt crits. I'm sure he will still hit pretty hard, but you'll definitely see a decent difference with this. And because it's so like big of a HP drop that you need, it could be quite tough or quite annoying depending on how you look at it. He does have a standby skill. So this is the part of the animation that was kind of confused on so not long ago in the, the assets files for japan uh they had this counter finish which was a standby skill as you can see band standby so this is probably where it's going to come into play here so the standby can be activated on the third turn onwards when hp is 70 percent or below or starting from the sixth turn of the start of the battle and the standby will last for five turns uh, here are all the Goku categories. I mean, it's pretty common stuff right here. And the links here as well. Uh, when you go into the standby, he cannot attack except when finish skill is activated. Attack defense 333%. Attack plus 159% for one turn after first appearance. Great chance of evading enemies attack. Evasion chance by 20% when HP is 59% or below. For C's enemy super attack when this character is on the attacking turn, all allies will get a three key and defense plus 59%. And the attack will increase by 333% when finish skill is activated and evades enemies attack during that turn. Finish skill can be activated when the enemy is super attacking you. 
and it will massively raise the attack temporarily nullifies enemy super attack and counter uh, and counter attacks with ferocious power and always performs a critical hit which i do like i do see some problems with it however um one thing's for sure is the attack plus 159 percent for the first turn you need to guarantee yourself you have the standby although there are ways around you just reset your app whatever but you know in some situations where you like need this damage output this could ruin the run essentially um two i don't know if your great chance of evading enemy attacks fails and you just die from normals i actually don't know how much defense you're going to be getting because th it's only 333 percent defense at the start of the turn that might be a lot but there's nothing you know multiplying afterward or no guard or anything like that so if you the normal attacks do a lot of damage you only activate the finish when you are getting super attacked which could be an issue if like the super attacks like the fifth attack and you just die from four normals that would suck but there is a great chance um but you do have to be below 59 percent for like a 90 percent dodge chance and then you'd be pretty much safe there but you know you can still be you know activate the standby skill at 70 percent hp or from the six turn at 100 percent hp and then you know it kind of sucks right there so it's a cool concept maybe the character itself is maybe not what i'm kind of vibing with but i do like it you could probably activate it the first turn unlike you know the charge step up so i do like it in that sense oh and third thing that i just thought of is if the super attack's in the third slot and you want it then you're going to be ruining your rotation so there's a lot of things that are going to happen with this character that might not go right but i do like how the goku here as a second third slot unit might be actually kind of cooking and just for everyone this is the 200 percent leader skill unit uh, you have the brand new Super Saiyan Trio, the guards right there. I mean, that's already, you're starting off really good. Uh, of course, the go the five-year fusions in here as well. Probably Super Saiyan 3 Goku will add that to the list of cool units in here because he's probably going to easy A. So not a bad 200% uh, leader skill, I don't think. And it looks like we got some teasers of some events coming out for the Dual Do Confess celebration. First up, we have Super Battle Road, which looks like it's going to be Turtle School here. Should be very, very easy, no doubt about that. And then we have Extreme Super Battle Road Stage 52, which is Joined Forces. And the most interesting thing is that there is going to be a new Red Zone stage movie, and it's actually movie version 2 which is very interesting choice that they're doing another movies instead of just adding another stage instead. And the reward is to get this Beerus support memory, which unfortunately we do not know until the data download drops. I'm actually unsure how many stages there are as well, um, but you'll be getting red zone tickets and dragon stones. There's also a new burst mode, which I think is the Int Ella Goku's burst mode. Quite an interesting choice with this celebration. They could have went with like the old Super Saiyan 3 Goku events or uh, a Tapion event, which I would not recommend. I hope they never do that burst mode for the Harutagon event, especially with that dodge chance. That's going to be a nightmare. But the category restrictions are uh, target Goku as well as Android Cell Saga. It looks like they're just trying to continue on with like the Android's 13 kind of deal right there cool thing is that you get the uh, super saiyan goku theme which is a really nice ost to purchase and of course this will get you those specific skill orbs for some really good categories as well and the final announcement that we got was the dragon ball stories updates for the tapion story events so that's going to be in the db stories section and then you'll be able to get i believe this is when the farewell for tapion um supports memory here doesn't look like it tells us much and it probably means that there is not going to be an awakening for the tapion it looks like it. it's not 100 percent confirmed but if they was they would have at least told us within the news or at least the easier for trunks or something right uh, but unfortunately it just doesn't look like it unless it's going to be a part two which is Quite unfortunate if that is the case because there are lots of free-to-play cards that they can definitely upgrade in this celebration that is related to the Harutagon movie. I'm going to keep my hopes up though, see if it is that case.